Our next guest, he does it all, starring in some of the most memorable and incredible and hilarious movies of all time, from Chicago and Gangs of New York to Talladega Nights and Step Brothers. Now, John C. Riley has a new dark Western comedy called The Sisters Brothers. Take a look. I'm leaving. No, wait, 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 wait. All right, what do you want? It's about slapping each other in public. That's right, so I slap you, you slap me back, breathing. So go ahead, hit me, hit me. Well, he hit him. Please welcome John C. Riley. Hey, man. Good to meet you. See you. Hello, folks. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Uh, <laughs> congratulations on the new movie. It, it's funny what Michael said, I think, nailed it. You have such a range of product, projects. This is a Western now. Yeah, yeah. I guess you just do this long enough, I guess you hit all the genres. But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but you're with Jake Gyllenhaal, Joaquin Phoenix. Can you tell us a little bit about the new movie? Yeah, it's called The Sisters Brothers. It's based on a great book by Patrick DeWitt, and it's directed by this a wonderful French director named Jacques Audiard. It's his first movie in English. Oh. And it's about these two brothers who are hired killers in the 1850s in the West. And uh, they've been together their whole life, killing people since they were little kids. So they're these, <laughs> they're, they bicker like brothers, uh, except there's this whole murder component. But anyway, <laughs> as you can see in that clip that we just watched, uh, you know, I clean Joaquin's clock there pretty good. And there's sort of a, you know, back and forth throughout the whole movie with the two of us trying to figure out, like, where do we go from here? You know, we come from this kind of brutal past, and we're trying to figure out a new future similar to like the, what the country was going through at the time yeah and but but you know it that was funny it's a dark twisted comedy yeah western yeah, comedy Focus were you a fan of, <laughs> but, but I'm, were you a fan of western movies as a kid because i was a big western yeah fan. sure i yeah. mean i mean you come home from school when i was a kid and it would be clint eastwood or you know the Sergio Le leone spaghetti westerns uh, the good the bad and the ugly that kind of thing so Sure, I think that's why I became an actor because it's like every kid wants to be a cowboy and a spaceman and a soldier and I'm like, I realized that's... named so all the village people, so... <laughs> so I'm working my way through. I'm working my way through. <laughs> and, and I noticed... You, wait, wait, there's no spaceman and the village people. I, I, it, was, it was a trick, yeah. You were I know the enough, village I people. Up. That's village yeah. people 2025. Yes. But yeah, we know you walked out with the hat on. In yeah. the movie, of course, you were a hat. You guys, but you're a hat guy. Yeah, yeah, I collect hats. So this did is... you get a chance to pick out the hat in the movie? Was that up to you, what it looks like? Oh, we had the most cameras? amazing uh, costume designer in the movie, this Italian woman named Milena Cananera. She's won Oscars. She worked with Stanley oh, wow. Kubrick, you know. So I was in really, really good hands. Everyone who worked on this film was like the top-notch kind of people. But yeah, there were many different hats. When you're trying to find a character, you're like, it's funny, something as simple as a hat, but the geometry of a hat really affects the way your face looks. Like, if you look at my hat, like, you see that kind of like this, oh, there goes my microphone. Mic down. Um, come back. There we are. <laughs> You can kind of like, you need to make this oval shape, and if it's too tall, then it looks weird. If it's too short, it looks weird. And then the dimension of the brim. So, yeah, anyway, there's a little hat lesson for you. Yeah. Hat lesson. Go to a good hat store, and they'll be able to tell you all this stuff. But. I've heard the thing, some people consider themselves old souls, but it seems you've just considered yourself old. You said to GQ, I've looked like a 53-year-old man since I was 18. <laughs> In my face, anyway. Yes, my body is caught up now. <laughs> this suits me. So this is a picture from high yeah. school? See, what happened is my hairline eventually caught up with my face. And now I look appropriate. Like back then, it was like, why does this old man have such a beautiful head of hair? But, yeah. So maybe a different hat back in those days with the different... Yeah, yeah. I couldn't afford hats back then. But. Oh, man. Also, young man, you kind of look funny sometimes when you... If you don't have the right hat, but anyway, yeah. Well, you couldn't afford a hat back then, but you, could, you can now. You can afford a hobbies. One of your hobbies, you collect clown paintings. I do, yes. But uh, you yes. can't keep them in the house. Well, I keep them in my office because my wife, who comes from an artistic family, she's a painter herself, and she's like, you know, let's keep the, art the artwork we agree on in the house. <laughs> and the work that you really like, you can have in your office. So 
Yeah, I collect clown paintings, which clowns get a bad rap these days. <laughs> For some reason, people have decided clowns are scary, but I was a clown when I was a kid. I did my church group, and we did all kinds of, like, amazing work as clowns. So, you know, don't believe the hype, folks. Clowns are beautiful, <laughs> beautiful things. Yeah. Don't listen to Stephen King. Listen yeah. to John C. Well, Reilly. Sure. I mean, you can make anything scary. You got this movie out now called The Nun. All of a sudden, nuns are scary. Well, <laughs> everything good is maybe, going down. Maybe right nuns now. were always scary, but no. <laughs> no, they're messengers of God. Let's just a good thing. Okay, well, I don't know if you've heard, but Michael and I are huge Step Brothers fans. Ah, the biggest. I didn't hear that. Yeah. yeah. Can you tell us the number one quote people scream at you from Step Brothers? <laughs> There are well, so it's many. always strange to have like a 11 year old boy scream boats and hoes at you. But, <laughs> uh, I think that's a, that's more <laughs> that's more of a reflection of his parenting than my work. But oh man. Uh, no, uh, people scream shake and bake and whatever, you know, catchphrases are popular. Yeah. And that movie, St Step Brothers in, in particular, was, is a really beloved movie. Like, yeah. it, it went as this, it came out as this big broad comedy and then it, it settled into the kind of consciousness of the population in this really deep way. It's uh, cinematic excellence, that's what I like to call it. Is it. You know, we, we, we tried to make it a real story about families that was also very funny, you know, so there's kind a of lot like of... Kind of your new movie with... Brothers. Exactly, exactly. Like, Killing. I think... <laughs> <laughs> the movies always have a lot of heart. They have a Me lot too. of heart. And it, 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 I can't believe it. It is the 10th anniversary of Step Brothers. It, we couldn't help ourselves, so we had to recreate a photo like a, of a scene here. More surprises. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I always Except to for... Oh, you guys. What we're really looking forward to is John's new movie, The Sisters Brothers. It is out now. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.